we have an update. So, of course, most of you are aware that um, the YouTubers Logan Paul and Jake Paul have essentially um, decided to wreak havoc and declare war on all combat sports athletes, whether they're boxers, MMA fighters, or whatever they may be. They've decided to call out everyone under the sun in an effort to bo bolster or boost whatever this new um, approach is to fights at the moment, where you kind of marry up, you kind of marry up these celebrity influencer public figure fights with actual professional fighters fighting for car, fighting for titles, whatever they may be, to boost obviously their exposure and to potentially rewrap the sport of boxing, which has kind of suffered because it's maybe from the USC, maybe it's because people have moved on, or maybe just, you know, it's a cycle of time. But there does seem to be less of a, a chatter online concerning boxing in general. Now, it could be an internal thing. It could be because there's so many commissions, promoters, uh, you know, people padding their records and special interests in charge. And, you know, the judging is horrendous and fixed. There's probably something at play there that's definitely affecting the way people have kind of responded to boxing. But there's definitely something going on in there where somehow the public consensus, the general fan who i would assume is the one that really pays the bills and you know is in the stadiums watching these things and buying the merch has maybe moved on ufc maybe of course played a big role in it i think the way you know say what you want about dana and his lack or unwillingness to pay the fighters what they're worth and the fact that they essentially put their lives online you know um you know on a basically a month by month basis for little to no money what they do do really well uh, because they're the only promoters in town is that they do put on the fights that fans actually want to see you know number two versus number three to to have a chance to face number one there's no going back and forth and f face somebody outside the top 20 just to pad your record you get thrown in lines then straight away to prove your worth which is why we get the special fights that we get and obviously the you know undisputed champions that we get along the way so that might have kind of captured people's imagination but again me i'm no big fan of the whole influencers fighting professional athletes again i've had limited experience in martial arts you know having done a month doing you know muay thai on a on the back of a groupon discount and um i gained a lot of respect for fighting basically i've i figured out quite quickly that hey i can't fight if i was involved in some sort of altercation with somebody that had any level of experience i'd get washed and it gave me a whole different level of appreciation and respect for the sport and it also let me know that there is a definitely a big gap between people that are fighting at the amateur level let's say right um you know working a nine to five and fighting on the weekend sometimes here and there to people that are fighting in professional organizations there's a big level of gap even from experience level so i can i can, I can only imagine what the level of the skill gap must be when it comes to somebody who essentially made their entire career doing pranks on youtube to suddenly to start to fight people it's just not the same it just won't happen so sometimes i think it's not necessarily it might be a spectacle for the logan brothers because i think for the paul brothers sorry because i think in general they're both not really well liked i guess maybe more so in jake's case but they don't have the best reputation so maybe part of the law is that people want to see them getting knocked out similar to the appeal of what floyd mayweather had when he was fighting you know the part of the reason why people kind of tuned in to his fights was because he played this heel character braggadocious um sort of like in your face champion that everyone wanted to see sort of knock down a peg or two it never unfortunately happened for for those guys anyway but that might be the appeal of it anyway fast forward um i guess jake paul wants to call out uc fires if i think he even decided unwittingly to call out dylan dennis one of uh, conor mcgregor's um training partners and also somebody who is a you know jujitsu savant in his own regard and somebody who you'd think would be a bad decision for him to decide to fight especially in the octagon doesn't make any sort of sense so some prank happened well it's not a prank some uh altercation happened between the both of those guys where essentially he kind of pulled up to dylan dennis during an interview that he was doing with brendan shaw for his uh food truck diaries on um, below the belt and the instance i saw it i knew straight away it was fake it was looked flipping so you know uh done in a way that you would kind of assume those kind of youtube pranks are done and i just didn't know what purpose it served because i think like again let, let's watch the video and you could make a decision but i just think it's a bit pointless this is the video itself it's just like kind of my personality and that's the thing with marcel too is like he was getting mad at me for like hey look, it's <laughs> 
fucking little bugger, bro. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Was it a water balloon? I don't know what it was. To be honest, because I got close, it was gonna hit me with like some metal, but it was. I think it was a water balloon. I was gonna try to jump on the truck, but I couldn't get it. Dude, if you would have jumped, I was so close. So I was gonna try to duck it and hit me with the thing. There's a lot of dudes in that truck. Thank I couldn't God get close because God that didn't happen. He drove off. Right I, I and if, if they would have jumped out, then I gotta get involved. I gotta dust off the old, the old skill set. I don't think he would actually box me either. And like, you don't, you don't think Jake? No, won? I don't think so. But the thing is, is like gonna that, that's gonna get them millions of views. Yeah. And when you guys fight, like that translates dollars for you. I wish you would have got out. Yeah. Can we go find them now? Do you have a car? Come on, that that the, 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 if I've ever seen anything more faker, um, I don't know. It's just it, it seems like a complete waste of time to me. I just don't understand. Um, nothing to prove. Whether they if they fight in a ring, maybe let's say the Dallas is striking isn't the best. I don't know. I've not really seen any of his striking. Most of his fights I've seen, he's basically just smushed a person, grappled them to the ground, and strangled them or ripped their kneecap off, which makes complete sense just considering how high level he is at jujitsu. So maybe he's his striking is as bad as you know most grapplers is because he just focuses on his strength but still i would wager that he's probably of a higher level in caliber than the jake boy it just is the fact it just has to be somebody that does this every single day for you know the best part of what 10 plus years they are going to be bound to be better than somebody that just jumps into this because they decided to they're bored of youtube it just has to be the case then you think of it from a Brendan Shaw point of view and of course it makes sense for him you know because he's you know he's always kind of wanting to be a bit of a celebrity you know pundit kind of guy and he sort of inserted himself into the situation front and center even though he wasn't necessarily he wasn't necessarily needed by staging this ridiculous um encounter with these two guys obviously he would say he's very good friends with Logan which basically means you know they've exchanged a couple dms on instagram but regardless of the fact it's just it's a bit embarrassing it really is especially for somebody that you like like um Brendan who was so hard on you know what's his name cm punk when he first came into the ufc and saying that he shouldn't be in there and of course his comments regarding greg hardy it's just really ironic that now he's somehow you know championing the prospects of the logan brothers essentially deciding and picking and choosing who they want to fight in the ufc in order to kind of boost their rep rep and inevitably supposedly put money in the back of the pocket of these fighters again i still think not all good not all money is good money yes he, get, he gets a payday but what does it serve um didn't dennis taking time out of his training camp to fight for someone that he shouldn't be fighting in order to get more money in his pocket which is not going to further his career it's not going to make him look more badass it's not going to allow him to you know fight for a title anytime soon it doesn't answer any questions that people have about his skill set it does absolutely nothing apart from you know stroking of the ego and of course inflating the bank account but is that really worth the squeeze considering um everything that's going to go into it promotion all this sort of stuff it just seems like a bit of an exhaustive process and maybe the resources could be much best used or placed in other places